back to my channel so in this video i'll be doing a review of lg2 in one front automatic front without washing machine i'll start with the installation for the installation if you are using if you are using a manual washing machine before the hose and water inlet is quite different the water inlet and outlet for automatic is quite tinier than that of manual and for the connection so this hose, hose is supposed to be standing here but when i when we just got it i used scissors to cut this place because i felt it was like the manual i have to leave this hose lying on the floor it doesn't have to lie on the floor it is going to be hanging it's supposed to be here you you unscrew this place you unscrew this place and leave the hose hanging here but because i already cut this we had to use it like this the effect of not the effect of not hanging your hose your water outlet hose like this is your washing machine will not retain water and if it's not retaining water you can't wash it's for automatic washing machine for washing machine you have to leave the tap open always the machine only takes water when it needs water so this is the knob for to control the wash cycle the power button, the pause and play button. The machine has different wash cycles. For this cutting, cutting plus mix, easy care. It is not showing the time here because they wash for longer hours. But for the duvet, the duvet washes for one hour, 41 minutes. For, and this allergy care means when, you're, when you want to wash clothes from the hospital, clothes with infection, and this baby steam care is for baby's clothes, when you're washing a baby's clothes. Here we have sportswear. The sportswear will wash for 54 minutes. When you're choosing the wash cycle, you can adjust the temperature here. It's, at, it's best you wash with cold water, and you can also adjust the spin. While I'm adjusting it, this is how it is changing the time, the wash time for the machine. Look at it. Can you see? If I wash um, for with 40 degree temperature, it will wash for 45 minutes. If I increase the spin, it will wash for longer minutes. So it depends on how dirty the clothes you are washing is. Then there's gentle care that will wash for 28 minutes. If I adjust it here, it will change it too. There's stain care. Stain care is for a cloth that has a lot of stain on it and it's going to wash for 3 hours, 32 minutes. Then there's quick 30. This quick 30 is what I use almost every time. If the cloth I'm washing is not so dirty. So I'll just choose the quick 30. It's wash, raise and spin. Then for the dry circle for this machine, this is the dry circle here. The dry circle is maybe where you want to, when you, when you are going out and you want to wear the cloth immediately, you, sh you choose this direct way. It is going to wash for one hour twenty six minutes. You, if you notice, when I was choosing this sportswear and gentle care, this particular button didn't come up. Now this is direct way. This is wash. This means wash. This means rinse. This means spin. And this is for dry. But if you are not choosing from the dry circle, that light won't come up. So this is for the dry circle, and it's wash for one hour twenty minutes. Then there is wash plus dry. This one is only going to take four four kg four kilogram. Of clothes like the, the clothes will be four kg. The dry the wash and spin is seven kg, but the what the dryer if you are going to be using the wash and dry, you the quantity of clothes is just four kg. And there's download circle. This download circle is for when you've washed the clothes. Maybe you wash the maybe you've washed the clothes before and it's dropped from the dryer, from the cloth line. You can just bring it here to rinse and spin it alone. It won't wash. It is just going to spin it, rinse it and spin it you don't have to wash it at temperature but depending on the clothes there are some clothes that you need to wash with warm water you can just change it here the dryer dries for two hours upward it is not advisable for dry cleaners because when for dry cleaners they just need this wash rinse and spin but when you want to wash clothes like duvet blankets pillows it is advisable to use the dryer because the dryer dries at a very hot temperature. The cloth it brings out steam when it is drying, and for elastic clothes with elastic material, it will spoil it. It is not advisable drying your clothes with that hot temperature. It is not advisable for dry cleaners except they want to wash thick cottons like duvet and pillows. So this pre-wash is for instead of soaking your clothes, dirty clothes, extremely dirty clothes, you can just choose. You choose this pre-wash option look at it brought out this time it has added 11 minutes to the 30 minutes i chose for 
um, the quick 30. So for this 41 minutes, it is going to pre-wash the dirt of the clothes after, then after 11 minutes, it will start with the normal wash, rinse and spin cycle. You can also use it to clean the top without putting clothes, just to clean the machine top. Then there's this rinse and care. It's just to rinse your clothes, just when you want to rinse clothes. This delay end is for people who have kids and they don't want them to touch the machine. You just press it. It's written here, extra function. You hold for three seconds. Can you see? It is locked. If I want to unlock it, I've unlocked it now, so I can operate it. Then this add item, when you're washing a cloth, like you, have, you already have clothes in the top, before you can open it, you need to press this add item. Or this pause option, you can just pause it and bring out the clothes. Here's what the drum looks like. The top for washing, here's what it looks like. This is the space for the soap. This is where you put your, the soap for normal washing and this for when you're pre-washing the clothes. When the clothes is ex when you are when you're washing very dirty clothes, you put this detergent here and here. This will work go for the pre-wash. This will go for normal wash. And if you want to use hypo jig, you put it here. Then you close it gently. It is advisable to use liquid detergents for the machine. And when you're using liquid detergents, you don't have to add too much of it. This space here. After the water outlet has drained the water, you have to open this place and the little amount of water left in the washing machine will come out through this place. And this place is meant for cut um, buttons, zips that comes out. Maybe when they fall out of your clothes, you just come here, remove it. The quantity of clothes you can wash with this machine is 7 kg. So now I'll be washing some tops and trousers. Put clothes that you know you can wash together, clothes that... The colors doesn't fade off. Don't put clothes that are fading colors. It's close that noise to just spoil the clothes. So now my clothes is here. I'll close it. Then I'll select a cycle. I'll no before I select a cycle. The clothes is here. Now I'll have my soap. All right, the manner. It doesn't need so much soap. I'll put it here. If I was using if the clothes I was washing was white and I want to bleach it, I'll put the I pull a cheek here and I'll close it. I'll select a cycle. I'll be using quick 30. So for the quick 30, can you see? It's, I want it to spin it for longer hours because I have thick clothes there. And the temperature, I'll just change it to cold. There's pause and play here. Then you press the play. The machine will give a sound now. That's a lock sound. And once it, it gives that sound, you can't open the machine again. Can you see? And this is, this is the sign of the lock sound. This is blinking already because... The machine is preparing to wash the clothes. Now, let me try to open it. It's not open. If I want to add something to this, I'll just press add item. Can you see? It's but it made the sound again. I'll close it. Don't forget, you press the play again. There, it is locked. This is locked like this. It's already blinking. The machine is done washing the clothes. It has 19 minutes to rinse and spin the clothes. This was blinking when it was washing. Now this is blinking because it is already rinsing the clothes. And it doesn't consume water. The wash and spin doesn't consume light too. One more thing. When the machine is spinning, it is not supposed to make noise. If the machine is fidgeting while you are spinning, there is an error you need to fix. Or you just, or maybe you shifted the machine and you need to adjust it. It, is, it, doesn't, give, it doesn't make noise while it is spinning. It's just supposed to sound like this. There was a strong stain on this clothes before I, stay, before I washed it, so the stain is gone. So it washes well. Can you see how dry the clothes is? I'll just spread it and let it dry up completely. I don't need to use I didn't use the dry because it is electricity consuming and time consuming. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like, drop a comment and share my video. Bye.